Hey there, Iggy the Investing Iguana here. Want to know the secret behind CDL's sustainable property success? In this video, I'll take you on a journey through CDL's history, from their humble beginnings to their current position as a global property powerhouse. We'll explore how their focus on sustainability has set them apart from the competition and driven their incredible growth. Plus, I'll share some juicy details about their current financial situation that you won't want to miss. So grab a snack, settle in, and let's dive into the world of CDL. CDL has been a major player in the Singapore property scene since way back in 1963. They started out small, with just a rented office and a handful of employees, but quickly made a name for themselves with iconic developments like City Towers, Singapore's first high-rise residential project. From those humble beginnings, CDL has grown into a global powerhouse with a diverse portfolio spanning residences, offices, hotels, service departments, and more. Today, they have assets worth a whopping $33 billion spread across 29 countries and regions. That's a long way from their early days in that little rented office. But CDL isn't just about building impressive structures. They're also deeply committed to sustainability and creating spaces that are good for both people and the planet. In fact, they were the first private developer in Singapore to receive the Building and Construction Authority Quality Mark Award all the way back in 2002. This award recognizes high workmanship standards across all units in a residential project, and it was a major milestone for CDL. Since then, they've continued to lead the way in sustainable development. They've embraced an ethos of conserve as we construct, investing in innovative technologies and methods to maximize resource efficiency and minimize environmental impact. From energy efficient designs to the use of sustainable materials, CDL is always looking for ways to build greener and smarter. It's an approach that has paid off in more ways than one. Not only has it earned CDL numerous awards and accolades over the years, but it's also helped them attract environmentally conscious buyers and investors. In a world where sustainability is becoming increasingly important, CDL's commitment to green building practices sets them apart from the competition. Fast forward to today and CDL is a global powerhouse with a diverse portfolio spanning residences, offices, hotels, service departments, and more. They've got assets worth a whopping $33 billion spread across 29 countries and regions. That's a lot of property. But what really sets CDL apart is their focus on sustainability. They're not just about building fancy buildings. They want to create spaces that are good for people and the planet. In fact, CDL was the first private developer in Singapore to snag the Building and Construction Authority Quality Mark Award way back in 2002. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's all well and good, but what about the bottom line? Well, I've got some fantastic news for you. CDL has been absolutely crushing it lately, posting a record revenue of a whopping S$4.9 billion in the 2023 financial year. That's right. They've managed to increase their revenue by an incredible 50% compared to the previous year. It's like they've found a secret treasure map leading straight to profits. But here's where things get really interesting. Despite CDL's mind-blowing performance, their shares are currently trading at a massive discount. And when I say massive, I mean it's like they're having a blowout sale on their stock. We're talking about a 43% discount to their net asset value, which is already pretty impressive. But wait, there's more. If you look at their revalued net asset value, the discount is an astounding 70%. That's right. The market seems to be completely ignoring the true value of this company, like a kid who can't see the forest for the trees. So what does CDL do in this situation? They've decided to take matters into their own hands and embark on a share buyback program. It's like they're saying, hey, if the market won't recognize how awesome we are, we'll just buy our own shares and show them what they're missing out on. By scooping up their shares at these ridiculously low prices, CDL is essentially giving a giant thumbs up to their own growth potential. They're putting their money where their mouth is and demonstrating a level of confidence that's as solid as the buildings they develop. But CDL isn't just buying back shares willy-nilly. They've got a well-thought-out plan in place. The company's existing share purchase mandate allows them to buy up to 10% of their outstanding shares, 
which translates to over 90 million shares. That's a lot of faith in their own future. And get this, they're not just going to let those shares sit around collecting dust. CDL has hinted that they might use some of those repurchased shares for their long-term incentive plans. It's like they're saying, not only do we believe in our company's future, but we also want our employees to share in the success. But what about the broader property market? Well, the Singapore government has been keeping a close eye on things, and they've actually increased the supply of private housing in the first half of 2024. In fact, the total supply for the year is set to be the highest since 2013. Now, this might sound like a bad thing for property developers like CDL, but there's a method to the madness. By releasing a steady supply of land, the government is aiming to keep prices stable and prevent the market from overheating. And with a good mix of sites across different regions, there should be plenty of options to suit different buyers' needs and preferences. So, what's the bottom line? CDL is a company with a strong track record, a diverse portfolio, and a commitment to sustainability. They're trading at a significant discount to their intrinsic value, and they're taking steps to unlock that value through share buybacks. Meanwhile, the Singapore property market looks set for steady growth, with the government taking a proactive approach to maintain stability. Well, there you have it, folks. The inside scoop on CDL's secret to sustainable property success. From their early days as a small Singapore developer to their current status as a global leader, CDL has always put sustainability at the forefront of their business. And it's clearly paying off with record revenues and a bright future ahead. Of course, investing always comes with risks, but for those with a long-term outlook and a keen eye for value, CDL is definitely worth a closer look. As always, be sure to do your own research and consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any big decisions. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the Investing Iguana channel. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, leave a comment below. I'm always happy to hear from my fellow investing reptiles. Until next time, this is Iggy the Investing Iguana, reminding you to stay informed, stay disciplined, and keep your eye on the long game. Thanks for watching.